What's up guys, it's BD here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new HyperX and Ducky collaboration. The first time they dropped was a black and red two-tone look. Now they're back with an all black murdered out Ducky one too many. And I know a lot of you guys out there have been waiting for this kind of colorway. Usually Ducky is running some type of two-tone look, whether that's black and white or black and some other color, but this is the first time we've seen an all black one. These are gonna be extremely limited. It's dropping on November 18th at 8 a.m. PST, there's going to be 6,500 units made worldwide. So it's going to be extremely limited. I don't know if you guys are collecting Ducky one too minis. This one is probably my favorite so far. Now I want to come at this from a different angle today because I've covered the Ducky one too many a couple of times now, and I just feel like it's kind of redundant. So I'll link those down below if you want a detailed review. Today, I want to take a different angle because I get asked so often, why choose a Ducky one too many over any other mainstream keyboard? So I want to list out today some of the reasons why you would choose a board like the Ducky one too many over some of the other mainstream keyboards that we've been seeing. So the first reason why you might want to consider a board like the Ducky one too many is the size. Of course, it's 60%. This is what originally drew me to the keyboard. Gaining that space when you have a low sensitivity can be a real game changer for a lot of people especially when all the mainstream keyboards are TKLs or full-sized. You saw a lot of people turning and angling their keyboards just to get more room on their mouse pad. And it just gives you better ergonomics overall. You don't have to have your elbows flared out <laughs> and then you look like a like you're about to fly away. You know what I mean? You, we've all seen those people. So you can get nice and tight in there and have a lot of room to work. Next, the plastic design is great. It's very low key, low profile, very light. It is very easily maneuvered on your desk. It's also highly customizable with the angle that you can have the keyboard at with the three kickstand feet on the back. Another thing that I really love about the Ducky One Two Mini is the keycaps. They have these PBT keycaps that are not overly rough. They don't stain. They feel very pleasant to type on. It's a whole new game when you get this, when you're coming from another mainstream keyboard. And this is probably my favorite spacebar that they've come out with yet. It's designed really well. It has the HyperX and Ducky on here, and it has a lot of callbacks to being a gamer, like WASD, it has some diamonds, has bombs, hearts. Overall, it's just a very aesthetic keyboard. And they also give you a keycap puller in the box, so you'll be able to remove these keycaps and put on some of Ducky's other sets if you wanna buy into their ecosystem or whatever sets that you wanna put on this keyboard. Unlike some other mainstream keyboards that kinda of keep you locked into to a system with non-standard space bars and the like. Another reason why people love the Ducky One Too Many is that RGB. It is bright as hell, especially with that white plate and it bouncing off of it. It just looks, it'll light up your whole desk. Let's just say that much. And because those PBT keycaps are shine through, it's gonna look spectacular. Another reason why people love these keyboards is that you're not locked in to one system when it comes to switches. They have a wide variety of Cherry MX switches and they've even been branching out with Gateron switches. And now we've got this collaboration with HyperX. So they are just branching out, getting a bunch of switches for these keyboards. And the HyperX Reds are great. They are pretty much like Cherry MX Reds, just a little bit on the lower pitch side. And we can't talk about keyboards without dropping a sound test. So let me show you guys what the Cherry MX Reds sound like versus the HyperX Reds. Last but not least, why this board is so beloved is because it is true plug and play. No more software, bloatware, whatever you wanna call it, slowing down your entire computer. We've all been there. There's like 20 different companies that have put 20 different softwares on your computer because they are needed. And it just slows down your entire system before you can even get into the game. It's actually ridiculous. Ducky has made it so you can make macros in the blink of an eye on six different profiles. You can also change the RGB in a blink of an eye by just pressing FN, Alt, and T. That's it and you just cycle through all the different waves and reactive modes. You can even choose the color and fine tune it using the Z, X, and C. It's just that easy. People always think that I'm shilling Ducky, but at the end of the day, 
this is what I use. When I'm not using a high-end keyboard, I'm using a Ducky 1-2 Mini. When I don't want to mess up my GMK, my nice keycaps, when I'm gaming, when I'm about to game for like six hours, I switch to the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Why not? It's a great board for gaming. So I want to list a couple of things that I want to see Ducky try in the future with the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Now they've already changed out the case with the Mecha Mini and made that an aluminum case. Now I want to see them put in maybe a brass plate into the 1-2 Mini. That would be pretty sick. Seeing different materials in this case and how it reacts and how it sounds would be really cool to see. I also feel like they can shave down some of the bezel size and make it even smaller and even more compact. But otherwise, I love this keyboard and I think it's definitely worth picking up for $110, especially if you don't know what to buy. And I like what HyperX and Ducky are doing. They're kind of bringing the Ducky 1 2 Mini into the mainstream. I would love to see them bring these into a store, not just have a special edition, but actually have these on the shelf. A Ducky 1 2 Mini. I, I have to see this at Best Buy at some point. They got to be working up to that. Um, so I would love to see that in the future. Um, Ducky HyperX, can we make it happen? All right, so yeah, this one is gonna be running, like I said, on November 18th at 8 a.m. PST. Don't miss out on it. This is a sexy black keyboard. It does get some fingerprints on the back, but that's okay. Can't see it anyways. <laughs> All right, guys, it has been your boy BT. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Who are you? See you like red must be a pyro. If you went to work, why bring the crew?